What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at just a quick peek at how we can mod this Toy Shock digital pinball into a virtual pinball machine. Let's get it started. Okay, just a quick update. Uh, so I uh, went to the Salvation Army today and I found this 19 inch monitor for $11. It was marked 14, 15 bucks, but got it for 11. Uh, so I think I'm gonna use this here. I also picked up these two speakers for about $3. Uh, has volume control and sound pretty nice. Just gotta figure out where they're gonna go. Probably gonna come out of those cases and be de uh, constructed, dissected. Um, I got this power strip. As you see, I got these transformers, so I needed something that could allow everything to be plugged in. Got that for like maybe two, three dollars. Um, what else I get? I, I got this little light thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It was like, it was a couple of dollars. And I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna mount it under here and just have some light effect. It was only a couple of dollars, so we'll see what we do. It has some mirror that rotates. I ain't quite figured out what exactly it does. Um, how that changes the light, if anything. So, I'll figure that out later. Get it to turn off. I don't know what this thing is doing. Anyway, I'll figure that out later. So, less than $20, I got this power strip, speakers, the 19-inch uh, monitor, that little light thing down there, and I think that was it. Um, so I got the uh, new power supply with all those cables looking like snakes. Uh, so I got the graphics card in, can't see it. It's pretty big down there. So I got the graphics card in. So I got the, started working on the software again. But it's, it sees this, this uh, play field upside down because see this is the back. So I got to take this monitor out and rotate it. Um, the connection that I have, that one is using the uh, DMI cable. You see the white cable there. This is using the controller board, video controller board from Amazon. And that's using the HDMI. Uh, so, I can't really get into here with this screen on top, but I still have to bolt everything down, screw everything down in there, figure out the best way to do everything, get that power strip in there, uh, try and get everything in there. You see that power supply is pretty high, the video card is pretty high, so I'm at this, you know, obviously this monitor stand is not going to stay in there. Uh, so once I get that all set, I can get this board. This is a monitor inside of this guy. Gotta get a plexiglass cut for that. So we're making some progress. Oh, and so apparently I'm gonna need some new buttons. 
Um, so you see here, those buttons work, nudge works. I can put in coins, I can start the game. And I got the right flipper there and right nudge, but I'm gonna need a few, a few buttons like to exit out. Uh, I have no plunger. This is not recognized at all. So I gotta figure that out or just take it out all together and put a button there uh, for plunger. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need at least a plunger button and at least an exit button or escape button. Uh, so that's why I gotta figure out how many buttons I actually need. If I, if I wanna get new buttons, I know I have buttons somewhere uh, here. But then these look different. So I may swap these out because these feel more like plunger buttons. So I may take these two, put these two buttons in as my flippers and then use these two red buttons over here somewhere, maybe right here and right there uh, lined up properly. And it can have like a, a plunger button or, or a, yeah, plunger button and a escape button. So that's what I'm thinking. And goodness, and it's late. I also picked up some LPs, uh, not at the Salvation Army, but at the uh, video place that sells used video games in town. <coughs> All right, guys. So that's it. That's where I stand right now. Place is a mess. Got parts everywhere. Uh, so I can get this thing screwed in. Probably, probably won't have time tomorrow. <coughs> but I'm off Friday for until the second, so I'll have plenty of time. So this thing should move pretty fast once I get some time to actually do stuff. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the web, and hopefully, I can get rid of this cold. <coughs> okay, I couldn't help myself. So just to give you a peek inside. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the video car. It's pretty tall. We look at it from this angle. It's, it looks like it's clearance to to get this monitor in. This cable has to plug in for power, and that's kind of stuck up there. You see that? So I'm gonna have to route all of this wires, all these extra wires. Uh, I still have to get that power supply in here. So I'm thinking. Once I get this stand out of here, that foot, I'm gonna slide this motherboard as far back as I can. So it's at the uh, highest point. And then put that power strip along this base of floor here. This fan, still not sure how I'm gonna mount that. Ugh. That's the new power supply over there to 500 watt. Doing this job. Again, I gotta flip this screen around so that it's facing the proper way. But you see the back glass looks nice. It's a nice, nice size screen for it. 19 inches, don't really need anything bigger than that. That should fit into here pretty good. <clears throat> and I'd like to do something with this haunted house. I may put it on the back, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in a frame and hang it on the wall. All right, guys, that's it. And you hear those speakers, they sound pretty nice. Uh, let me launch the ball, just so you can hear something. Just so you can hear some of the sound effects. <coughs> <coughs> kind of hard to actually 
So speakers sound really nice. Graphics is nice.